I just got through uh, going to a conservative, very conservative uh, area and a grocery store to buy some groceries. Anyway, they had some oldies channel on. I, lo I love oldies. I really do. Because I'm an oldie, of course. Uh, but I, I like the oldies channel and, and music. Anyway, one of the songs came on. I don't know the name of it, and I, and I don't want to know the name of it. And, and this is what the girl, I think, I guess it was a girl. It might have been an it. I don't know, but this is, this is, this is what she was singing. What I am, what I am, what I am, what I am, what I am. Shall I tell you what you are? You're an idiot. You're an idiot that, don't, that has no idea how to sing. How hard is that? What I am, what I am, what I am. And I can just imagine her audience and her people, the lover, they're going like this. To the what I am, they're going <clears throat> head bopping, uh, leg stomping. <clears throat> what I am, what I you can't tell me to that woman that's singing that song isn't a drug user. What I am, what I am, what I am. Hell, I could do that. I could be a flipping millionaire singing songs like that. We could change the lyrics of a bit. Who I is. Who I is. Do you like me? Do you like me? Do you like me? Will it rain? Will it rain? Will it rain? What a bunch of losers. Some of these people that sing songs are complete morons. And people buy their music? Are you serious? What kind of people are you out there that buy that, what I am, what I am, duh. This calls for a Coke from my favorite girl. <laughs> I like pigtails. I really do. And here's my little chocolate frosty boys and girls. Do you know that uh, around Halloween time, between Halloween time and the first of the year, or the end of the year, that you can buy little keychain things from Wendy's for $2, and then you can use it every time you go to Wendy's, you can give them your little keychain tag, and you get a free chocolate frosty or, or a free vanilla frosty. You know? So if you... So, if it costs you two dollars, let's say this thing's worth, I don't know, 20 cents, then you've got to go in 10 times during the year to get to, to break even, don't you, boys and girls, huh? Well, I bought four of them. I bought four little frosty things. Here, I'll show them what they look like. If you think I'm lying, here, there's my billfold, baby. Let's, I've got a little secret compartment here on the side. Where I keep my special things. I unzip it. And I keep my little special things, boys and girls. Can you say little special things, boys and girls? Here, I'll show you my little my little special things. It's a little key tag thing. I don't I don't put them on a keychain, boys and girls. I like to keep keep them in my wallet, in my billfold. Huh? I might and, and then when I go into Wendy's, I get one or two hamburgers, a free senior drink. Did you know that they give free drinks to seniors? That's one of the benefits of being old. That you get a free drink. You don't even have to buy anything. Just go ahead and say, I'd like to free, uh, uh, a senior drink, please, and they'll give you a drink for free. Now, they're supposed to give you a real little drink for free. But I've got the girls trained at Wendy's. All I do is wink at them. How you doing? I go. This is my free drink, boys and girls. <laughs> There's a girl in there that gives me free drinks like this. It's supposed to be this big, boys and girls. And this is what I get. I say I'd like to get the, the biggest free senior drink I can get, miss. 
And she gives me this every time. Beautiful. I wasn't born yesterday, baby. <laughs> what I am. I go up to the counter and she says, can I help you? She says, what would you like? What I am. What I want. What I want. What I want. Bunch of losers. Where was I? Oh, anyway. I've... So, it costs you $2 for a little thing. And then you get a free uh, Frosty when you go in. I've I use... I've got like 10 Frosties in the first month. So, from here on out, for next 11 months, baby, it's free, baby. Every time I go in there, I get four Frosties. Why? Because I have four tags. But I get four Frosties. I like Frosties, boys and girls. I really do. Look at this. Mmm, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. 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 Wow. Woo! That's better than sex. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. You know what ticks me off today? There's a few things that tick me off. What I is, what I'm ticked at, what I'm ticked at, what I'm ticked at. <sighs> uh, PayPal. I do PayPal because I do eBay. PayPal's old uh, way of looking at your transactions was so much better than what it is today. But some person at PayPal thinks that they're more clever than the person before they made the, the uh, statement uh, uh, area where you go in and view your statements and your transactions. This person thought they were smarter than the last person, so they changed it, and it's stupid been that way for a couple of years it's dumb go back to the old way and then there's uh ebay you can't do it buy it now on ebay the only way you can do it buy it now is to put it uh good till canceled so every 30 days they renew it automatically and charge you a fee every 30 days you have to do an auction, boys and girls. You can't do it. Buy it now. See, I like doing it. Buy it now because I don't like to wait for seven day or ten day auction to get over with. I want my money now. I want to put it out there. I'm gonna buy it now. If they buy it, I get the money right now and I ship it out. You know, in the next couple of days. But I can't do that anymore unless unless it does a good till canceled. A good till canceled, boys and girls. Why do they do a good for cancel or good good until cancel? Because they want to rope you into charging you a fee every thirty days. You know they want to control you, and not only want to control you, they want to control your damn money. What I am, what I am. Oh man, why did they do that? Because some moron said that's that that's what they should do. I'd like to run eBay for one week. I really would. Another thing that I think they changed this. They might have changed this. I don't know. But when you're making an offer to somebody, so you know, on eBay, it, sometimes it says uh, they want such and such amount for it on the starting bid or make offer. So if it if it has uh, twenty two fifty on the starting bid. Or make offer. I might. I might offer him eighteen dollars. When I send that in. Now, if that's rejected, I can make another offer, right? But eBay only allows you to make three offers. They only allow you to make three offers. What difference does it make to eBay how many damn offers you make if every time you make an offer to the person, the price goes up? I might. I might offer eighteen the first time. Maybe next time I might offer 19. Maybe the next time if that's rejected, I might offer 20. You know, whatever. But you only have three times to offer, boys and girls. How come? Because eBay puts it 
That's the way eBay wants it. Because somebody was a moron and put a stupid, a stupid regulation or whatever you call it on, on making offers. Are you people crazy? Are you people at eBay complete morons? What difference does it make to you how many times I make an offer unless, I mean, unless I don't, unless I go down on my offers, what difference does it make to eBay how many offers I make if I go up in price on, 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 on my uh, offers? Are they crazy? Then there's YouTube. The old uh, video manager was a hundred times better than this stupid beta manager thing they have now. It takes it takes a long time to load the damn thing. It is it isn't even close to how simple and easy the old video manager was. What is wrong with you people? I know what happened. Some some Johnny on the spot that thinks he's smarter than the person before creates a whole new program because he thinks it's 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 uh it, it's better for people and then they then they do away with the old one and put on this new piece of shit. I want the old one back. This one is horrible. What is wrong with you people? It's like like a store. I'm not, I I bet that most of you had gone to a store, you go to a regular grocery store to buy your groceries, and you know, you know, you know where the soup is, you know where the cereal is, you know where the toilet paper is, you know, you know where the toothpaste is, you know, you know where the dog food is, you know what aisles it is, because you go there all the time, you know, you can go right to the aisle, you know. And some manager, some new store manager comes on the scene, Johnny on the spot, and he changes the aisles. He changes what products are on certain aisles. So what's been the, the dog food aisle for the last eight years is now the laundry detergent aisle. Why? Because the new manager thinks that's best. That's why. And what used to be the cereal aisle for the last seven, eight years is now the soup aisle. Are you people completely out of your minds? Leave, if it works, leave things alone. Quit screwing up everything because you think you're smarter than the person before. You're not. When you have something that works, something that's easy for people, something that people can remember and, and, and navigate through the store or whatever, leave things alone. You're not smarter than the person before by changing the damn oils around. Bunch of losers. Anyway, that's my bitch for the day. What I am, what I am, get a life, get a grip.